Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you're new. My name is Ashley and I'm a senior at Clemson. I'm studying genetics and I just kind of am taking you along um, on this journey <laughs> through life as I just navigate um, the highs and lows of college as I navigate highs and lows of life in general and um, just staying faithful through all of that. So if you're interested in a vlog style content, college content, um, content that is just um, faith filled and faith centered, then this is the place for you. So definitely please hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, comment down below all the things so that we can stay connected and just continue to grow this community that um, just loves the Lord and wants to become better versions of ourselves. So today's video, if you clicked on the title, then you obviously know. Um, this is a reset for February with me. So this is a kind of resetting for the new month, getting prepared for um, February, which is in two days. It's a Monday currently, January 30th while I'm filming this video. Um, so just some essentials. I have my giant cup of water, of course. I just made a nice cup of coffee, which this latte seems extremely light to me, which is interesting because the coffee is not very strong. And I feel like it should be, but that's besides the point. Also, these cups, I finally, I have been wanting these for so long. They're like the glass beer can cups, and they have a glass straw as well. I got a pack of four of them, and they're like the best thing ever. I love them. They're from Amazon. They do sweat. That is one thing that is like not the best, but you know, other than that, it's all good. So, I have all my essentials here. Um, to start planning <laughs> this notepad, I honestly, I don't even remember. I think I got them from Target, um, just in a pack. They're like little notepads like this. I use these for like anything that doesn't really have a purpose. Cause a lot of times like I have different notebooks and things. I don't know. Comment down below if you can relate to this, but I have notebooks that are like for specific things and I'm a big writer like I'm not a huge digital planner type of person but I hate having just like loose leaf paper um I'm not a fan of just like having sheets of paper lying around but if I have a specific journal for something I have a hard time like writing scratch work in it so to speak so i have these pads of paper for when i just want to write random things um or like sketch out a vision for something so if i'm sketching out a vision for a paper i have to write it for class or something along those lines so that's kind of the vibe there so that's why i have this so that we can kind of sketch out our goals and the things that we need to plan for february this of course is an investment so i do understand that but it's the like i don't even know how you say this but it's like a very specific brand of bullet journal it's like the bullet journal brand and let me tell you i have been a bullet journaler for a long time um I've used bullet journals for uh, like my own planner and that sort of thing. Like I love them, uh, but I had never invested in like a high quality bullet journal. And so over winter break, I was at Barnes and Noble and I saw that they had these bullet journals and they had a purple one. And guys, 
purple like light lavender like this oh, it's like my favorite color in the whole entire world um i love light purple and just like lavender is such a happy color for me so i invested and it has been so worth it like i want a million of these first of all it has so many pages great um but the pages are like just so soft and buttery i will say it is a little see-through for certain types of pens um so that is a little bit unfortunate um but it's really really pretty um and i just the quality it's amazing so i you know made my first page 2023 dreams um and just that reminder to be kind to yourself because one of my biggest goals and just like motivators for the year is just to be kinder to myself and extend more grace where grace is needed so um that is that and i just am really dreaming big in 2023 my word that i keep forgetting is my word of the year is surrender because i just want to surrender more to the lord so i'm trying to use that word um to kind of be a vision for just the year in general in the year ahead when i'm making my monthly goals and kind of like my quarterly goals like what how do i keep it centered around that vision that the lord gave me of surrender um i just had become very aware that i wasn't surrendering a lot of my life or enough of my life to the lord because i do like control and i was like okay our word is going to be surrender we're going to surrender more to him we're surrendering our academics we're surrendering our future we're surrendering our business all the things um we're surrendering those to the lord and a lot of times that looks like not telling him what we think should happen not filling in the blanks um those sort of things and that's been hard but it's been good um so i have kind of like I wrote 20 goals for 2023. They're like major goals, um, things that I want to kind of keep in mind um, when I make my monthly goals to try and hit those things. This video, sorry, has been a lot of just like me talking and rambling, but we are going to get to our purpose and our focus of this video, which is planning um, for February. So we will look at kind of our January goals and I'll show you an up close of this. So I have my January goals and then we will create our goals for February. Um, and I'll kind of walk you through how I do that. But I also created a page, it's called book list. It's not really fancy or pretty at all, but it's going to be a list of all the books that I read this year. So, so far we've got three on there. So three books already in the new year. January's not even over. So we're doing great. Um, so yeah, we will go ahead and get into planning and resetting. But before we can reset, of course, you know, as always, we have to look at the goals that we, well, not our goals, we just have to assess how the month of January went. So let's just go ahead. We'll review our January goals We'll set some goals for February. So first off, we have our book list, which I will be adding to hopefully every month. Um, but let's assess here um, kind of where we were at with our goals for January. So read two books. We did that. Um, so I'm going to fill them in with green if we did them. So you might not be able to see them great, but I did read two books. I read The Husband's Secret and I read Good Boundaries and Goodbyes. I also finished last year's mistake. I think I actually read that in January as well, the whole book. Um, no phone after 8.30 p.m. I did not do that very well at all actually so i did not do that i also didn't really try and achieve that to the best of my ability so that's okay um 30 minutes daily of social media i would say that i'm gonna fill this in because i was pretty consistent with that so i actually have um a timer on my phone 
and I don't go over it's for 20 minutes and I don't go over that most days so I would say that's pretty accurate morning quiet time we hit our quiet time every it wasn't always in the morning but that's okay we did our quiet time every single day got in the word prayed it was amazing I also did not organize the pantry but I did do like a big organization of like the apartment thing so I wasn't as concerned about getting that done so for health I did not get 10,000 steps every single day but we were like pretty consistent with it actually I can look up I was listening to my audiobook um so if I pull up my Fitbit you can kind of see here um <clears throat> So like I already hit 12,000 steps today and it's only 3.30. But if I click on this and I think like I can make it big and like look at the month here. So like you can see that the line, it, um, this is like the 10,000 step goal. So some days I didn't have my watch because it wasn't charging for whatever reason. So like this gap in the middle is when my I didn't wear my watch for a few days. Um, but we hit our goal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 and i'll say we'll probably do it tomorrow 13 days um but you can see like a lot of the days we were really really close um and then there's like a few really low days but for the most part we did um you know we got 13 days so i would say that like i did pretty well i do want to do better about this though um next month but i'll put on here that we did 13 days we hit our goal um so then working out five days a week if we go to exercise we can do the same thing so i can say this week okay yeah so if you look at this again um this like calendar sorry you cannot see because of the glare but this calendar shows all the days that i worked out but again like those <laughs> three days there kind of is when I didn't have my watch so honestly like if this was each week we were really consistent with that I did do that um with getting a workout at least five days a week so we did that um and then track my meals and water I didn't do a very good job of that but I do want to do better as far as creating two podcast episodes goes for my work stuff I have one that I have written but not the another um but i do have one more day and tomorrow tuesday is a work day um so i'm gonna say yes because i have been consistently working on um that um and just podcast stuff in general um let's also go to my channel so we can see so we're at 321 subscribers i didn't post any videos in january but we we're fixing that because I batched a ton of content for you guys. So we ended the year with, or the month, with 100, 321 um, subscribers. Um, so that's what that looks like. Obvious, honestly, like that's pretty good growth for not really posting any videos. I posted a few shorts. Um, some of them did better than others. Um, so that got a few followers, but we're gonna have more videos in February and then books read I will add on here. We had um, Last year's um, I would give this one one last year's mistake three stars. It's like super cheesy young adult romance, but I mean You knew I knew what I was getting into with that one. So um, It was good just not the best book ever the husband's secret this one is actually funny because um this one i feel like got a lot of hate on goodreads but i would honestly give it four stars potentially even four and a half stars um but i would say four stars for that one because it was good it made me reflect a lot on life um in general so I highly recommend that one. Here it is. I literally bought this at like Sam's Club or something years ago and just had never read it. So I'm trying to read a lot more of the stuff on my bookshelf and not buy new books because I can buy a lot. I'm also trying to get more from the library. So um, 
yeah this is it and it was really good i wasn't sure if i was gonna like it because i'm not a huge realistic fiction person um it doesn't really have any spicy moments or anything so like it's a safe read it's just cute and it has some shock factor it's a good book i enjoyed it and i would recommend it and honestly this last chapter the epilogue really like got me thinking about how we hold grudges about things or like you know we think about like one moment and we played over in our head but we never would have known that like had this other thing happened like something bad still could have happened like i think it just goes to show that like sometimes we beat ourselves up over things and we think that things are are our fault but like literally one thing or one course of action could have like changed our entire trajectory so it's just not worth thinking that like you're the reason that you're where you are or like you messed up god's plan for your life or something along those lines so it's just really it's a good good book and i really recommend it the other one that we read is called good boundaries and goodbyes and this book is definitely getting five stars like literally changed my life guys like that sounds like an exaggeration but i just like am truly in awe of this book i'm still thinking about it and i probably will still be thinking about it for a long time to come i will say any of lisa turker's books that i've read she like truly does speak to my soul like i just feel like her and i have just very similar ways of thinking about life and um how we process things and so i just feel like she's writing a lot to me um it's a personal development book of sorts it's christian um and it it is just so good about like setting boundaries in your life um around relationships that need it but also learning how to say goodbye to relationships that don't kind of protect that boundary so i highly recommend it a hundred percent gets five stars so that is kind of the final uh verdict for january um and then i'm gonna kind of journal out some things that i want to focus on for february let's get to planning for february my planning and kind of setting intentions for february so i hope that you enjoyed it i hope it inspires you to go and set some god-centered goals this month for yourself as well just working on being a happier version of you a healthier version of you a more positive kinder version of yourself um and just extending grace and setting goals around things that you know are going to benefit you and make you um, better able to serve those around you so of course um just thank you so much for watching the video give it a huge thumbs up um if you enjoyed it as always remember to go live boldly fearlessly and authentically you i love you and i'll see you in the next video